after five years of education for young children. Not everyone is happy with pre-K for SA. Facing declining enrollment and an accompanying $31 million shortfall, the San Antonio Independent School District eliminates 60 teaching positions. No one really knows exactly why enrollment dropped as much as it did this year. And a Bernie businessman attacks Robert Mueller with an I-10 billboard. I'm Chan Storlin with your Express Briefing for Thursday, May 10th. Subscribe to this and other free content at expressnews.com slash podcasts. And get each day's top news and sports headlines delivered to your inbox at expressnews.com slash newsletters. While this week the majority of the city council heaped praise on Sarah Bure, the CEO of Pre-K 4SA did hear pushback from frequent critics Clayton Perry and Greg Brockhouse. As Pre-K 4SA wraps up its fifth year of educating four-year-olds, Wednesday, Councilman Perry signaled some disdain for the program with a series of questions about why Pre-K 4SA gives away so much grant funding also inquiring whether the program could continue on grants alone. If voters decided in 2020 not to renew the one-eighth cent sales tax that provides the bulk of its annual funding. Bure says Pre-K 4SA's board of directors, composed of city council appointees, have opted not to seek grants, as it would create competition for funds among local school districts, potentially taking money away from them adding that when they do seek grants, it's always in partnership with the local independent school districts Pre-K-4SA works with. In addition, Bray noted that grants Pre-K-4SA gives out itself help plug funding gaps in local school systems as school districts facing revenue shortages cut early childhood education first. Councilman Greg Brockhouse also took offense when Pre-K 4SA CEO Sarah Bure and City Manager Cheryl Scully both cast the program's teachers as the best in San Antonio, noting that his wife teaches in the public school system and there are top-notch teachers across the city, not just in Pre-K 4SA. Following declining enrollment and an accompanying $31 million shortfall, the San Antonio Independent School District is eliminating about 60 teaching positions, with additional cuts likely in the future. Tuesday, administrators began meeting with teachers who have been recommended for termination, giving them the opportunity to resign effective at the end of the school year. SAISD also is looking to reduce the number of school and central office administrators with more details to be provided when the Board of Trustees meets Monday. I spoke about SAISD's largest ever enrollment decline and resulting budget shortfall with San Antonio Express News staff writer and education reporter Ali Amalik for an episode of In Depth, a weekly podcast covering news and events in San Antonio, available for free download at expressnews.com slash podcasts. The schools that SAISD has been opening under the most recent superintendent We're done with the intention of attracting more families to SAISD, but that it wasn't just really about growing the numbers. It was also about improving the school district in general. SAISD is a a high poverty school district and because of issues related to poverty, mostly it's also kind of a lower performing school district in that it has a number of schools that have failed to meet state standards um, and the, the the kids in SAISD just need a lot more academic help. When SAISD Superintendent Pedro Martinez came on the job in 2015 with that five-year turnaround plan, Malik says the district ran into more declining enrollment problems that led to its current budget shortfall. No one really knows exactly why enrollment dropped as much as it did this year. They didn't know why it dropped so much so fast. We know that charter schools play a role in declining enrollment because, you know, families pull their kids out of their neighborhood schools and might send them to charter schools instead. But a drop this large couldn't really be explained solely by charter schools, according to the superintendent. Another reason that the SAISD superintendent thought 
might be the case, I don't know how much evidence he has for this, is that the San Antonio area is growing, but the growth might all be occurring in other places that aren't SAISD. So one example he gave is up Interstate 35 towards San Marcos, which is actually a couple of counties away from our county. People are moving to that area, you know, if they have jobs here. SAISD employs more than 3,000 teachers with almost 51,000 students. The district saw its largest ever enrollment drop this year and predicts it will dip below 50,000 students in the upcoming school year. The decline is causing decreases in state funding that is allocated based on average daily attendance. And a billboard asking Robert Mueller, have you thought this through with the hashtag thanks liberal media is the latest message on Interstate 10 in Bernie put up by local businessman Kyle Courtney. Courtney says the billboard, the third he's put up in the past year, is a response to reporting that detailed questions Mueller wants to ask President Donald Trump, noting that, quote, the mainstream liberal media is trying to set a new precedent and it is a threat to our democracy. The 63 million Americans who voted for him are as guilty as he is. My message to them is to come investigate me. In June, Courtney's first billboard made national headlines by telling ABC News he, and not Russians, elected Donald Trump. And that's your daily San Antonio Express News briefing for Thursday, May 10th. Subscribe to this and other free content at expressnews.com slash podcasts. I'm Chance Dorland.